love you. Michael was um, extremely misunderstood. Extremely misunderstood. He was just so generous, and, um, extremely giving and caring. Aside from us talking about work and how each other prepare and train for, for things, aside from that, I mean, he introduced me to movies that I would never ever watch. <clears throat> American in Paris, you know, Breakfast at Tiffany. I would never watch that movie. I mean, it's like he introduced those to me over my eyes to a whole another side of things and appreciate Fred Astaire's talent and things like that. Kind of seeing how that plays to basketball. And we used to have those conversations all the time. He's just such a giver. Just a beautiful person. Kobe, did you know that Ron probably considered himself the biggest Michael Jackson fan? Did you ever talk about Michael Jackson? No, no, we never talked about it. I understand that number 37, though, uh, came from somebody that tweeted him, I guess, and uh, suggested number 37 because of how many weeks he was number one. So that's pretty cool. You were always a big fan of his music, though, growing up. Michael, well. Michael Jackson? Yeah. Oh, of course. I was one of the 65 million people that bought that real album. <laughs> no question. Maybe it surprised people that Kobe and I were very close friends. But we were very close friends. Kobe was my dear friend. He was like a little brother. Everyone always wanted to talk about the comparisons between he and I. I just wanted to talk about Kobe. Please rest in peace. <laughs>